Morning guys and welcome to the Meek Ed Minute. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a custom whole wizard setting. Um, so if you click on the settings button, um, under system options, if you go down to whole wizard and toolbox, you'll see your custom whole wizard path. This is where you want to save it, so make sure that that's correct. And click on configure. This is then going to process this and bring up this option here. Um, I'm going to say I want to create a new custom whole wizard um, and then you select which one you want. So some of you guys are going to have um, your own settings already for a custom toolbox. I haven't on this machine. So I'm going to say ANSI metric. Um, I'm going to go to tapped holes and a tapped hole over here. I'm going to say add a new size um, and let's make it an M 2.5 by 0 0.35. So it's got a fine thread with a 0 0.35 pitch and a diameter of 2.5. Now here's where it gets, um, some guys make a mistake and it gets a bit tricky because if you leave out the name to match column, then your new, your whole wizard will give you an error. Um, so I'm going to, you have to add in the name to match. So I'm going to name it M 2.5 by 0 0.35. And then if I say, okay, I'll notice that it gets added at the bottom over here. Guys, so this is how you add a custom whole wizard. Um, it is important to note that the name to match column does get filled in. Otherwise, you will get an error code saying invalid um, values or something along those lines. Guys, I hope you found this useful and I'll see you guys in the next Meekhead Minutes. Thanks.